What's up guys, Sean here with another edition of Mostly Metal. Um, today is going to be a collection update. Uh, it's been a bit since I've done one of these. Uh, haven't had a ton of stuff coming in, it's the holidays and shit, so um, any spare money I have has been going to some of that. Um, this time of year, I, I don't talk about beer a whole lot on this channel yet, but uh, this time of year is stout season. I'm a huge fan of these beers and they cost money. Um, so right now beer is um, taking the place of physical music right now, which is, you know, no big deal. Anyway. Um, so first up, we're going to talk about a split. Speed Armageddon. This is a split between Wraith uh, and Bastardizer. Um, I know Wraith I'm a huge fan of Wraith out of Indiana. This is a clear black splatter type um, 10 inch EP. Um, Wraith, the Wraith side is a lot better. If you like um, Goat Horror, um, which I do, but wish maybe their songs were a little more focused, um, I think you'll like Wraith quite a bit. Um, I'm not shitting on Goat Horror. They have their place, but. It's almost like every Goat Horror album has two songs I really, really like, so if they just would take those two songs and put them on one album, I'd be uh, good to go. Um, also, the Wraith side has a cover of Sick Boy by GBH. Uh, I believe I watched a video from Pat from Ground Zero Salem recently where he was talking about some old punk records and GBH uh, came up. So um, if you're not a fan of GBH and you're in the metal, I uh, really should check them out. So this is uh, again a 10 inch um, by Wraith and Bastardizer. Next up, we're going to talk about a um, album by the band. I think it's pronounced Masago. Um, Not flicked and Hail War. Um, this came out uh, recently, not too long ago, I don't think, on um, Nuclear War Now. I uh, believe it's this summer. Um, a couple of these guys uh, you might know from the band Lord of Belial. Um, they they came out. Um, this actually came out in the late '90s, and this is just a kind of a a reissue from Nuclear War. Now it's just um, bombastic, um, straight ahead, um, kind of lo-fi-ish black metal, um, in my opinion. I, I don't I don't think it's um, it's not like uh, they recorded in a basement or anything, but the production value is a little iffy. Um, I like the, um, so it's a split of, I believe, two EPs. The, the Hail War side I like um, a lot better. Um, you probably can't see, but um, the first seven songs are from Naflict, their demo from 1994, and then the last four songs are from Hail War. Uh, which was a split EP with the band um, Antichrist. Um, it also comes with uh, an insert, black vinyl, so I'm not going to bother showing you that. Try to get the right angle for some lighting there, as you can see. And it also comes with a Nuclear War Now and Iron Boathead order form if you want to buy some more stuff. So, um, kind of, uh, this is, these days, this seems kind of goofy. Bands blowing fire, but. You know, back in the 90s, it was pretty fucking cool. So, uh, this is a, a great um, lo fi ish black metal release. Um, I believe Nuclear War now still has plenty of copies of this available. So, um, check them out if you are so inclined. I also like to cover again the Bowling of the Fire seems kind of goofy, but you know, back in the Early to mid 90s, if I had saw this cover, I would have thought it was uh, something I should buy without even hearing it. So, uh, if you're a fan of this kind of music, um, definitely check them out. Next up, we have a band you should all know and love. Um, this is a, actually an EP, um, The Octagonal Stairway by Pig Destroyer. Not much to show you there. Uh, this is probably something that tidy us over until their next full length. Kind of generic uh, insert there. Uh, this is a splatter vinyl version, which has some pink and purple and just some weird, weird stuff going on. Um, this is a, a good EP. Um, 
I don't know that I, had I known it wasn't six songs, I didn't do my research, obviously. Sometimes when a band goes on sale, you know, I'm working at home and I get that email from Relapse on, what is it, usually Tuesday morning, I think, they they send it out saying, hey, pre-order, blah, blah, blah. Well, it was Pig Destroyer, so I pre-ordered. Uh, it's six songs, but the first three songs are actual songs. The other song, like News Channel 6, is just some kind of weird noise track. Um, Head Cage, which I thought was their last album, which it is, <clears throat> but this song wasn't on it. It's not really a song, and then Soundwalker. It's like the other three songs are just like these weird exper experimental noise tracks. Um, it just did, they don't do anything for it. They should just release the, the three songs and get done with it. So, um, yeah, but it's still Pig Destroyer, so solid stuff. And last but not least for today, um, we have the album Throws of Joy and the Jaws of Defeatism by Napalm Death. Um, I'm a, as many of you all if, are probably, if you're a metal fan, on some kind of pinky, swirly vinyl. Um, I've been a fan of Napalm Death for a while, but their last few albums for me have just been. And they're not bad. Um, it's just kind of like they're phoning it in, so to speak. Um, and it, it just, there's a few songs on it, and then I'm like, ah. Again, back to the Go Horde comparison. Take these three songs from Apex Predator, and these three songs from Smear Campaign, and these three songs from whatever their other album was, um, and put them on an album, and you have an album. Uh, but this album is probably their most complete, um, best offering in probably 10 years, in my opinion. Um, the riffs on here are focused, the songwriting's focused and tight. Um, there are a few songs on here that are going to rub people the wrong way, but if you want to just hear Napalm Death do Napalm Death like the old way, just go listen to their old stuff. Um, there's a song on here, I believe it's called Immoral, um, that can almost, it almost sounds like a I hate to say alternative rock song, but that's kind of how it feels. But it's got such a catchy, catchy riff. Um, a lot of folks are going to be caught off guard by this. Um, but yeah, this came out on Century Media. Um, I am a huge Napalm Death fan. I have been since the 90s. Um, this also comes with um, a bonus track, which I think is a belly full of salt and spleen, maybe. Um, which is kind of a weird instrumental uh, type song. Um, it says this is limited to 250 copies. But yeah, this is the most complete Napalm Death album in 10 years, by far. Um, I listened to this nonstop um, for the moment I got it for about a week. Um, didn't skip any songs. Um, it's just one of those albums you can kind of get lost in. Um, because it's a Napalm Death album, you don't know which direction they're going to go with each song, but you know it's going to suck you in. Um, kind of talking about some <coughs> previous albums I've, I've talked about on this channel, um, where a band switches gears and it makes no sense. Every time Napalm Death switches gears, it makes sense. Um, every song on here has a purpose. Um, there's no filler on this. So if you haven't picked this up yet, it just came out a few weeks ago, I think. Be sure to go check it out, the new Napalm Death. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, so kudos to Napalm Death. Great stuff. Uh, I've got a few more things here to talk about in my next video, guys. And then um, right now in the background, I have the new Tombs record going. So far, it's it's pretty good. A lot better than their last one. I think it was called The Greed Annihilation. Um, uh, this feels more focused and more focused Tombs. Um, so I'll talk about some more of this stuff here, and then if I have time today and I get through this, we're going to do a Tunes review. So thanks for checking out the channel, guys. Catch y'all later.